this is a summit car. In fact, it's in a quite fun summit. I like this thing that they've done where there's the defenders and their henchmen and then you got the big boss. This is a really well done, quite nice summit for a... I don't know, Chad, what do you guys think of this summit car? Out of 10, right now, what do you think of this summit car, Chad? The stealth edition, which could definitely be more unique than it is. It's it's kind of like a red fury, but the ivory tower. I'm hoping we can change the color of it, hopefully. But, you know, given it's a fake car, given it's an ivory tower fake car... It definitely could have been a lot more than it is. A feature that's been here since the Crew 1 and dates back into the Crew 2 for when it really became what it is today. The Summit is when you play nine different events. Three skills and in the Crew 2 a mixed event, but we don't talk about the fact that we don't have mixed events anymore. I guess, well, any event is a mixed event. You play those nine events and then you get ranked on a leaderboard, at which point at the end of the week, you then receive the car based on what position you came. Same with the other rewards for platinum, gold, silver, and bronze. Bronze goes to everyone who's played the summit. These cars are exclusive to that. You have to get them. Unless the game brings them back in some other way, you can only get them in Platinum in the Summit. So they're limited to those people who win the car. And that's always like 10,000 over every platform on the Crew Motor Fest. So you've got a lot of competition, basically. But this is the Summit and a Summit car. And this is the Ivory Tower Asia Stealth Edition, a Summit car that I now will own. I will get this car next week wednesday but here's the catch i kind of did have to buy cars to get the summit car here see i may be platinum right now you still gotta buy the palatus and you gotta buy the aston martin vulcan and the offshore mark one now i already own these but technically speaking for the general player it's still paid you're still having to pay for a summit car kind of if you don't already own the vehicle but what if i told you they've added this same week another summit car that is completely free this is the summit in the crew 2 out right now and this is how to earn a free car in the crew 2 you go in and you well you you collect the rewards which um you know kind of actually cancels out what i'm doing well Chat, I'm earning this car twice. <laughs> I'm earning this car. This car right here. I'm earning it twice. <laughs> so I just unlocked that car. But this summit right here, as you can see in bronze, gives you the Dodge Charger RT Hemi Mad Edition Rally Raid ed Edition. The summit car I just won from Platinum. And like a really cool unicorn topper. I might actually have to do this summit, Chat, now that I think about it. It's got a unicorn topper. But let me show you how easy this is. Let's go into the escape. Let's uh do the escape. Let's get... Oh, objective 1,323 yards. Oh, God. I hope we get a good score, Chat. Let's make sure we get a really, really good score. Oh, no, Chat. No. Chat, I'm having engine failure. No. Chat, no. No, my God. No, Chat. No, the engine's broken down. No! How am I gonna get the Summit car? Well, 1,300 points. And that gets you... Oh, what? Bronze. At the end of this week, if you do anything... In fact, I'm actually, I'm actually gold right now because there's that few players. People, people don't play this game so much that I'm actually gold right now. <laughs> How far am I to the bottom? I'm 11,245th. There's 11,300 people ranked. <laughs> but yes, that means you don't even need any car. You can go into any of these and do any of these events. No restrictions, just go in. Cruise. Do you just need to finish the event, at which point you will unlock that car Wednesday. Every single player who plays this summit unlocks that car Wednesday. But thanks to the fact that I already own it, I can actually show you what this car is, because I really like it. And I didn't get a chance to really make a video on it before, so I'm really glad I get to make a video on it now. And let me explain why this has happened as well, because there is a reason that that car is bronze. Oh, there it is. This thing is so cool. Oh, look at it, Chet. I love the design of this thing, that they actually, like, went into it and thought about it. They were like, okay, this will be like a, a restoration dodge that someone's tricked out to be off-road. Swapped on new doors, roof, and hood. Put the mad stuff on it. 
inside it's got a pristine interior look at that look at the seats as well it's got cow print seats and the stuff in the back moves like when you're driving around it slides about is there anyone in chat or in the comments who missed this car before and actually did want it because this thing's sick this thing's sick not only that but it is the only dodge charger rt the old school one in rally raid you can't get the dodge this dodge in rally raid any other way than this summit car right here let's go in and customize this thing while i tell you what's up with it this car right here is 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 bronze because of the rust yeah what's up yeah 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 it was, it was, it was, okay let me actually tell you this thing is bronze because during that first week you might not have but during the first week of this update everyone's game was crashing well not everyone a lot of people's games was crashing they weren't able to get on the game it just didn't work for them no matter what they did and turned out in the end such a dumb thing turned out in the end it was if you had your amazon linked to your ubisoft account that was what was causing the crashes <laughs> So a bunch of people missed out on this car because they literally just couldn't get on the game at the time. The game just wouldn't launch or, or crash or it just, just would break constantly. So Ivory Tower, who kind of... Oh, that works. That, re that really works. Oh, do these work better though? Hang on, these might work better. Uh, no, I don't like the monster truck tires. <laughs> Never mind. Ivory Tower, even though they, they technically didn't have to do anything, they actually decided, hey... You know what? We'll give you the car for bronze. Because people missed it. People unfairly missed it. People had... You know, people collect Summit cars. There has been people who own every single car in the game. And because of this car, because of their game not working that week, they missed a car and now don't own every car in the game. So clearly... This one was for them. <laughs> in fact, they've done this once before. There was a Nitro Chemist set that... Oh, it was just some kind of set. I forget which one, but the game was crashing that week. So they brought that set back for bronze, just like they have here. <laughs> Who connected Amazon to Yubi? <laughs> I, you know what? Who knows? Who knows? Whoever did, their game didn't work. What else can we do to this thing? Underglow? I'm not really going to go with an underglow. Window tint? I don't know, like a, a cracked window tint would look really nice, but I don't think car companies would allow that, unfortunately. I'll go with like the fog horn. I, I'm not bothered to find the fog horn. Oh, something's got to work here, though, right? Surely, surely. Do we have any, like, dystopian... Yeah, we do. One thing about this as well, though, is that this now means that this car is the last ever free car in the crew. There will never be another free car because there will never be another update in the crew, too. So all Motorfest now and... Well, nothing to do with this game. They're ditching the game, in fact. Is this thing any good as, as well, by the way? I don't know. Hey, by the way, look. An alien. Spaceship that just crashed. Nice. Tell you what, I'm looking forward to this thing coming into Motorfest, though. That'll happen next update, which isn't for a while now. But it's going to be nice when we get this car in Motorfest because it's, it's any car in the crew 2 in motorfest is a lot a lot better given the you know the the, the fact that the, the quality is so much higher spaceship bigger than la probably killed a few hundreds of thousands of aliens oh you know what i never thought about the alien casualties of that crash no you know what you're you're kind of right no that that event would have a lot of alien casualties now that you mention it to be the last ever free car in the game this is a cool one i'm glad they've been making such good summit cars for the crew 2 because they really have haven't been for Motorfest, and it kind of shows, chat. Right now, chat, and be deadly honest, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The Ivory Tower Asus or this thing, which is better? Because in my opinion, this thing is 10 times more unique. Oh, look at that, cows, getting abducted. This thing is 10 times more unique. It's got more, it's got the moving stuff in the back. It's got a story to it. This thing has like a whole lore to the car's existence. Whereas, yeah, uh, it's not a versus. The Ivory Tower Asus is... It's aight. Is it any good? It's meta. This is the best in the spec. Okay, that's pretty fun. That's that's pretty fun. <laughs> it's also the last ever rally raid car ever added to the game. And now it's, uh, now it's been abducted. This is such a good cutscene. This cutscene has no place being in the crew too. It's way too good. Nice. <laughs> Our dodge tricked out for man versus the aliens has, uh, has gone well. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot parts were like that. Whoa, I just got the- Whoa, whoa! I just got the most nostalgia imaginable. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to get a free car right now, go on the game and grab this free car literally by owning any vehicle. The, the Audi TT could get you this free car because you're just going to go into it, do an escape to the minimum level, and then stop because you'll still get bronze. And there you go. Thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane thank you to star members. Grim Pepper and Extreme Speed and an insane, insane top of the top. Thank you to Icon members, HK and Extreme Speed again. I will see you boys in the next one. That's about it for me in a 